My mom's cousin Cheryl worked at a rural Idaho convenience store in the 70s. She was manning the cash register alone one night when a guy came in and started skulking around the store. Skulking. He then, skulking. skulking is so threatening. Yeah. Ugh. It's like it's like shifty eyes and your shoulders are up a little bit. Yeah. Just you're kind of like greasy. There's a grease element. <laughs> He eventually approached her and asked her for a can of peaches that was behind the counter. And then in parentheses, I guess they kept the canned fruit by the cigarettes in those days. (laughs) (laughs) That is super hilariously weird. She turned to get the peaches. And when she turned back around, this perv had his penis displayed on the counter. Ew! (laughs) Something about laying a penis on a (laughs) surface is so gross well that gets you in both ways because you don't want to see the penis and you don't like the germs that will eventually be on that penis totally for convenience store counter it's also almost Everybody- like at a jewelry store like like showing the <laughs> i hate it i hate you it you have to pull out your jeweler's loop and look really right. closely at the penis <laughs> I don't want to. And then you're like, that's not a diamond. (laughs) Wait a second. I was promised a diamond. Uh, With near superhuman reaction speed, she slammed the can down on his junk. There was some disagreement between my parents about the size of the can, but us Mormons love our bulk food storage. So I like to imagine a giant seven pound can. (laughs) Us Mormons love our bulk food storage. God, we learned so much. Such a good little tidbit. Tidbits and factoids. Okay. He passed out, giving Cheryl time to call for help. Yeah. (laughs) He passed out. That's how bad that was for him. Hell yeah. Yeah. Don't put it up there if you can't handle a big can on it. Uh, the first responders arrived. She was giving her statement to the cops while the paramedics loaded m- creepy bastard onto a gurney. When she got to the part about the peaches, the EMT started laughing so hard that they dropped the gurney and broke creepy bastard's arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. I know you all love a story where the perp gets his just desserts, so I hope this story brightened your day during what's otherwise a dark, weird time. It did. What, great it job. really did. Stay sexy and hoard canned fruit instead of toilet paper, Rochelle. 